Hi, um, just finishing up my day here. And um, while I know a lot of people know Ruby Creek for its molly deposit, um, one of the questions, uh, comments that I still get quite a bit is, I'm not sure I understand molly. Can you explain its use cases to me a bit more? So I just thought I'd pop on here and take an opportunity to kind of explain it a little bit more so you guys all have a better understanding. So molybdenum, molly for short, um, is a, it's a high strength metal primarily used to make steel more strong, um, more heat and corrosion resistant. Um, and it's better suited for demanding environments. So think of oil and gas pipelines, high speed rail, structural steel, um, even aerospace and military alloys. So by improving strength to weight ratios, Molly enables lighter, more durable steel, reducing material requirements, while also not crump compromising um, performance. So then there's use cases beyond steel. So about 20% of Molly demand comes from the chemical sector. Um, and there it's used in catalysts for petroleum refining, high performance lubricants, and increasingly in clean technologies like hydrogen production and water purification. So these emerging uses are representing a growing part of the story as industries move towards lower emission solutions. Um, and because of all this, Molly is now listed as a critical mineral in Canada. And while it doesn't always make headlines, um, the price of it has been steadily trending upwards over the last five years, which is something that we've been paying attention to given we have this large Molly resource.